model this screwdriver and give it a nice metallic effect up the arm here. We're also going to engrave the bottom um, with this Sid Crane logo. Uh, it's done with a bullion. Uh, we're going to split this tutorial into two parts. Um, one will be the the modelling, the other part will be uh, putting the colour and the textures etc on. So let's get started by opening up our blender. I'm going to delete our default cube and spacebar, add mesh cylinder. I'm going to give it 12 vertices and we're not going to cap the ends. Okay. Into our one for our front view, which is written up here. Seven is the top, one is the front. Tab into edit mode. We're going to S for scale on the Z axis. Scale it up. It's going to be the handle of our screwdriver. Uh, so we're going to right click on the top vertice. And if we hold the shift button down, we can multiple select the bottom vertice. And what I'm trying to do here is hold the shift button down, select every second one around the top. And the same at the bottom, every second one around the bottom, like this. Seven, bring up our top ortho written in the top corner. S to scale, we're going to just give it a, a star effect happening here. One on our, bring up our front view. We've got this happening which we don't want, so we'll fix it up straight away. S to scale on the Z axis. We'll try and line them up nice and evenly, like that. And if we hold the Alt key down and right click on the bottom edge, we can multiple select all the way around the edge like this. 7 will bring up the top, Control 7 will bring up the bottom, written in the top corner here. This is going to be our base of our screwdriver, so we'll keep working pretty quickly here. E to extrude, don't move the mouse, S to scale. Scale it in like this. One to go back to our front view. Bring back up the finger here next to the global settings. I'm just going to drop him down a little bit. Control 7 back to the bottom view. Get rid of the finger. Uh, we might W and smooth. W smooth three, four times. E to extrude, don't move the mouse, S to scale, scale him in to about there. One on the numpad, bring up the little hand, drop him down a little bit. Control 7 goes back to the bottom view, get rid of the finger thing, A to deselect. Right click on the top vertice, shift key, right click on its matching uh, vertice. I'm going to F for face, W and subdivide. We've got a middle vertice here which we're going to start making faces of four out of. So select the middle vertice, hold the shift key down. One, two, three, four, F for face. One, two, three, four, F for face. Just Talk to myself here for face. Oh, one, two, three, four, for face. One. Okay, so that's the bottom part of our screwdriver, pretty much done. Uh, it doesn't look much like a screwdriver at the moment, so let's fix that up. Um, I'm going to put a modifier on here. So let's subsurf the modifier. Um, Three levels, render levels three. And I can see an error at the bottom. It's got this round curve here at the bottom that I don't like. So we're going to tab into edit mode. Control R will give us a, a loop cut. Left click. And we're going to see if we move him up and down. You can see it's going to fix that bottom bit up. So we'll drop him nice and bottom. Now Alt right click on the top part. I'm going to start working on the top part of the screwdriver now. So if we E to extrude, don't move the mouse, S to scale and scale him in. You get the same sort of thing happening at the bottom. 
at the top as we did to the bottom. W, mm, yeah. smooth, W, smooth, W, smooth, three times, four times. We're going to seven to go to our top view. We're going to E to extrude, don't move the mouse, S to scale, and we're going to move that into about the, the right uh, height uh, uh, distance roundness of the pointy bit of the screwdriver. I'm going to hold the shift key down and the alt key down and select this outer rim as well. Go to the front view. We're turn on our finger. We might just lift him up a bit, give him a bit more of a, a pointy thing happening. I'm going to alt right click on him, go to our front view. We're going to make the arm here now, so I'll get rid of the finger. E to extrude on the Z for Z axis, and we're going to move it up to about what the screwdriver looks like, something there. We've got this bit here happening, so we'll fix that up now real quick. Control R for a loop cut, left click. You can see it fixing it up there. So we'll do that there. Control R. Do the same thing to this part here, fix up this part here, just there like that. Let's get working on the top part of the screwdriver. So Alt right click on the top part of the screwdriver. We might S for scale him down just a tad. Uh, him in our screen so we can see what we're working on. We're going to E to extrude. Don't move the mouse, S for scale, scale him in a little bit, W to smooth, W to smooth, W to smooth, one more. Okay, now we're going to S for scale on the X axis and we're going to move that guy in like that. One, go to our front view, the top, E to extrude, edges only, on the Z axis, and move him up, gives our point. Got a few errors, let's fix them up with Control R, loop cut, drop it down there, Control R, loop cut, and I mightn't put the, uh, that loop cut in. Let's work on the top um, and see if we can get this top part fixed up here. So what we're trying to do is close off our edges. So one, two, three, four. Uh, F a face. One, two, three, four. F a face. Close them up. Two. F a face. Close them up. One, two, three. F a face, close them up. Three, four, holding the shift key down to multiple select. Looking good. Tab out of edit mode, back into object mode. And we'll have a little look and see what we've actually got here. So we've got our screwdriver starting to take effect. Let's go in and put the little dimple thing in here. So tab into edit mode. Uh, control R for a loop cut, right left click. Drop him up the top here, Control R, loop cut, the same again, just under it, Control R, loop cut, just under it again. I'm going to zoom in, Alt, right click on the middle one, S for scale, scale him down like that. I've got this pointy thing happening here, which I don't like, Control R again, fix it up, nice and bright like that. Okay, tab out of edit mode, object mode, back into edit mode. So there's our screwdriver pretty much modelled. Um, in our next series we're going to put the bullion at the bottom, the engravement at the bottom here, and give it a nice um, metal, metallic look about it. Thanks for watching, see you in part two.